Georgia, hard lines, close game in the end. How do you sum it all up? Yeah, I think, you know, games like this are pretty tough because I don't think we did a lot wrong, really, and we're, we're, we're not on the winning side of it. But I guess when, when a game like this goes to the wire, there's so many positives that we can take from it as a team. Frustration to not get over the line as uh, we've had a little bit of a tough run in, in the Rachel so far. But like I said, I think credit to some of the younger players who have stepped up to this level. They've performed really well and, you know, to get it down to the wire there and, and nearly get over the line is pretty impressive. First innings, I mean, you played a big part in it. You must have been pretty happy with the total you posted there. Yeah, pretty happy. I mean, it's a decent wicket, but it felt like there was a little bit in it for the bowlers. So uh, we were fairly happy with two, 260 and, and thought that would be um, a winning total. But... You know, we, we've still got a couple of players in our side who, who aren't back to full fitness and know that we've got limited bowling options at the moment. But again, credit to those bowlers today who stepped up and held their nerves. We, we knew we had to bowl them and I think they, um, they executed and delivered um, in under pressure at times there, which I thought was brilliant. But yeah, in hindsight, obviously, we probably needed about 280. Um, I don't know if the rain helped the wicket a little bit, but um, yeah. Important to remember, though, they're top of the league, haven't been beaten so far, and you've pushed them really close. Yeah, we've given them a good run, and like I said, I think loads of positives for us to take as a team. They're, they're the best team in the league at the moment, so I think to come fresh off the back of the last game and play the way we have done today is really credible, and you know the girls need to take the positives out of today. I know there'll be a lot of frustration around the group, um, but we did a lot right. It, it felt like we, we executed and executed our plans well, we, we put runs on the board and you know couldn't get over, it's frustrating, but I think to run it, run them this close is impressive. And a historic day, the Vipers' first game on the Isle of Wight, uh, just a word on, on this ground, the hospitality you've had and, and the crowd as well. Yeah, the Isle of Wight's been fantastic, we've loved coming over, we trained here yesterday which was nice to actually sort of make a couple of days of it, but you know the facilities here are pretty impressive and uh, hopefully we can come over and play more in the future and definitely come over for maybe some training camps or something but yeah they've been uh, very hospitable and and very good hosts of us so we've enjoyed the trip how good to see so many young budding cricketers out to watch you as well yeah it's great to have the crowds in now for these sort of games and it's pretty impressive to see the amount of youngsters that have come out today and a lot of cricket going on in the outfield in the interval which we like to see it takes me back to sort of uh, my younger days so yeah it, it they've done great actually to get so many people in and we were out and about yesterday on the coast and and people were running up to us saying we're coming up to your game we're coming to your game tomorrow we can't wait to see you in action so you know good we couldn't get them a win to be honest but hopefully we'll be back here um, in the future for winning ways just finally looking ahead you personally obviously hitting some form now had that call up as well how are you feeling <laughs> uh, yeah feeling pretty good I mean I'm just focusing really on the Vipers I, I want us to it's hard in this campaign because we flip back and forth between other formats and keep going. But for me, it's all about trying to get my team over the line, trying to get some points to stay in the running for it. It's a long tournament and obviously got one eye on the 100, um, trying to keep sort of short, short format of the game and um, in the locker. And it was nice actually to, to bat right the way through there because I could practice a few of those shots at the end. How do you feel about this comp competition and this format in terms of where you're at and what you've got to come? I know it's two more games before that break for the 100. Yeah, like I said, it's a long tournament and the bonus points are quite pivotal. So we're not, we're not down and out, um, but we're going to have to play some really good cricket, I think, moving forward um, to get back in the running. But top three qualify and I still, I still firmly believe that we can be in that top three um, and we can push for a spot in the, in the eliminator game.